Okay, hi guys. I've just finished playing my first scenario of Commands and Color Medieval. Uh, it was the Utas River scenario between the Huns and the Romans. And in this battle, the Romans have prevailed um, after the Huns had an early advantage and held the, the advantage for most of the battle. Uh, but the Roman heavy cavalry came to the rescue and um, restored the centre and um, managed to uh, take out enough enemy units to uh, claim victory. The Hun wing and the Hun wings and the uh, Roman left wing never really saw any actions. So it was a action that all took place in the centre of the battlefield. Played it really well. It was a close game, and um, yeah, so that was my first scenario. So thoughts on the game. Thoughts on Commands and Colours Medieval. So I own uh, the Ancients version and the Napoleonic version. And I haven't purchased any expansions. Uh, I just think that rabbit hole is too deep for me. Although I would very much like to play Epics one day, particularly in Napoleonics. So, what do I think of Medieval? Just more goodness from uh, Richard Borg. Uh, the system is a proven system you're getting pretty much the same game with uh, just minor tweaks and a different period so this covers the uh, medieval period um, uh, and uh, it introduces a few new different types of cavalry you've got super heavy cavalry uh, and a couple of other variations in the unit structures which occurs in most games of commands and colors uh, you're always going to have a slight variation, but you basically have the same system uh, apl applying. Probably the biggest difference with um, this version of the system is the inspired leadership actions and battlefield actions. And essentially you get uh, inspiration tokens, I think they're called, um, which you can play um, when certain command cards are played, leadership cards, and they give you uh, extra bonuses. Uh, so pretty much so, that's the really only difference um, in this version of the game. Uh, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Um, if you like the system, you can't go wrong. If you're new to the system, this is as good a place to start as any. So that's Command and Colors Medieval, my two cents worth. Uh, great game. I'll be playing through some more scenarios over the next few days. And, um, and then we'll carry on with something else. So thanks for watching, guys.